Hey guys, you're watching Matt the Musketeer, and we are less than a week away from E3 now. It does start on Monday the 10th of June, and as I have said in my previous videos, we do now know we are going to be seeing some multiplayer gameplay from Battlefield 4. But not only that, today DICE did release a video with the manager called Carl Magnus Trodson, I think it's pronounced, and he's discussing the fact that there will actually be some other surprises from DICE at E3. So, not only will we be seeing some Battlefield 4 multiplayer, but possibly we might be seeing, I'm going to assume, maybe Mirror's Edge 2. Some people are saying, oh, it's going to be Bad Company 3, even though it has now been announced that they aren't actually working on a Bad Company 3, so it definitely isn't going to be that. So I'm thinking we might be seeing some kind of teaser for maybe Mirror's Edge 2. Now, if you haven't seen the video, I will leave a link to it in the description below, so you can make of it what you will. But today, I want to talk to you guys about sniping in Battlefield 4. Now, there are two reasons I want to talk to you guys about this. One being that, as I said, we are going to be seeing some multiplayer gameplay from Battlefield 4 in the next few days. So we're going to start to see the dynamics of that game and how it starts to look and aspects of the multiplayer. And because if any of you guys have been watching any of my videos recently, you will know that I have started to increase the amount of times I do use a sniper rifle in game. Now for any of you guys who do watch a lot of my videos, you will know that using a sniper rifle is something I hardly ever do. When I used to play on PlayStation 3 over a year ago now, I did still use the sniper rifles quite a lot, but I didn't kind of use it in the playstyle that you see me trying to use here, trying to be a bit aggressive, trying to be quite mobile and trying to get those active headshots. I kind of use a more classic sniper style, sitting at the back with the bipod out, trying to get some long range headshots from quite a distance away. Now, for me, the sniping aspect of Battlefield is something that changed dramatically between Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3. Now, of course, we saw some pretty obvious changes with things like the support class and the assault class, but I think the recon class saw some real changes in its dynamics of the way the class is used. Now, Battlefield 3 did bring a lot of new aspects into the game, a lot of which did have a large effect on the recon class. Things like being able to go prone, for example, would allow players to lay down in bushes or behind other objects and stay a lot more in cover and secretive than you ever could in Bad Company 2. Of course, on that game, you could only ever crouch and stand up, so you're never quite as hidden as you can be in Battlefield 3. Now, of course, to try and balance this out, Battlefield 3 did bring in other aspects, things like the glint from the sniper scope, so you were never quite as hidden as you would like to have been. You could always be spotted by the glint from your scope. So these kind of changes to the game really did have a large effect on the recon class in Battlefield 3. There was also the inclusion of weapon sway. Now in Bad Company 2, you never had to worry about any kind of lateral or horizontal movement when you were looking down the scope and trying to aim. You did of course have to count for bullet drop, as you do with Battlefield 3. But when you're looking down the sights, it was pretty rock solid. The weapon wouldn't move about left or right. Now of course, this introduction of weapon sway in Battlefield 3 was so then they could include the option of having a bipod, which would then of course reduce the weapon sway, but it would mean you'd be in a static position. So the inclusion of all these new features was just allowing you to then have more options for the kind of weapon setup you wanted to run. Now all of these small changes added together did play a large effect on the class overall. And I know myself as an avid sniper in Bad Company 2, I expected to be using the sniper class just as much in Battlefield 3. But only after a few days of playing the beta for Battlefield 3, I knew it wasn't going to be the same experience as I'd had with Bad Company 2. But are these changes necessarily a bad thing? I know personally, for me, I've never quite been as good a sniper in Battlefield 3 as I was in Bad Company 2, but that's only my own personal experience. I think overall the recon class has been improved for a more balanced game between Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3. Now, as I said at the start, recently I have been trying to improve my sniper gameplay in Battlefield 3, and I have actually found that now I've been using a new mouse, it has actually improved my sniper gameplay a little bit. I find myself getting the headshots a little bit easier and not overshooting the target. I never really thought hardware could improve your gameplay that much, but it does seem to be changing my sniper gameplay. Either that or maybe I'm a little bit more confident with the recon class recently, I don't really know. But either way, I am really enjoying the recon class at the moment, probably more so than I ever have before in Battlefield 3. So personally, for me, with the upcoming Battlefield 4, I am hoping the recon class stays pretty true to the way it is with Battlefield 3. Now, originally, when Battlefield 3 came out, I was really opposed to the way it was set up. As I said, I did prefer by Company 2. The bullet drop was less, there was no kind of sway from the weapons. And I just found sniping people on the move was a little bit easier. 
Not to mention the difference in hit damage. Obviously, it was always one shot kill to anywhere on the body with the sniper class in Bad Company 2. And of course, with Battlefield 3, it was a little more forgiving for the victim of the sniper. Obviously, unless it was a headshot, it was never quite as collateral as it was with Bad Company 2. So at first, I was really opposed to the sniper class in Battlefield 3. But the more and more I've got playing it now, he says two years after its release, but the more and more I'm using the recon class now, I am starting to warm up to it a little bit. So I'm starting to hope now that maybe playing the recon class in Battlefield 3 at the moment can be seen as a warm up for Battlefield 4. Maybe I'll be a little bit more active with the recon class in Battlefield 4 than I have been with Battlefield 3. But in the comment section below, I want to hear from you guys. Do you use the recon class? Do you prefer the recon class in Battlefield 3 to how it was in Bad Company 2? And if you could make some changes to the recon class between now and Battlefield 4, what were the kind of changes you'd like to see? Maybe it's to do with the kit it uses, maybe it's to do with the hit damage, maybe it's to do with its special abilities. Tell me all in the comment section below. And once again guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a comment and a rating, it does help me out a lot. But in the meantime, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.